and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Ten. I'm super excited for today's video because today we are doing a collective energy spread, honey, okay? Whatever is coming up for all of us this week. Uh, before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you would like a private reading. You can ask whatever you want for the reading, okay? Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's just get right into it, okay? I'm actually going to start here. I'm <laughs> Okay, well... You know what? That's fine. <laughs> I'm like, I'm being called to start with this deck. How do I? How do I? I'm being called to start with this deck. Let's see what comes through. That's a very interesting way to start a reading. Somebody said, maybe you should have started somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Sir Nunos, Paul the Venetian, and Faith. Let's get into it, honey. This is what we're dealing with this week, okay? So life force, express your driving pas passion. Sensual pleasures are increased. Oh, I'm sorry, powers are increased. So that's a very interesting, interesting energy to start with. Uh, humanity and benevolence with the faith card. Stay calm, trust in the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. And then experiencing grace share your gifts with grace waves of inspiration and love are coming to you so honestly it feels like good things are coming towards us but a lot of people are panicking feeling like very 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 bad things are coming towards us which you know that could be tea however uh i'm not seeing the people watching this video being affected by that as much as maybe some others would be let me see though it's like we are in control with that life force card. Sensual powers are increased. And, you know, I know, like, for me personally, this is a little bit of tea and probably TMI, to be honest. But I get a little tingle, you know what I'm getting? I get a little tingly, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I do something really well or if I, you know, <laughs> uh, finally finish a project, I get a little sensual tingle, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's a weird thing. But honestly, it's basically like, I'll let that out. Ooh, and the devil card. Um, it's basically like like yeah it's gonna be okay there's so much going on let me just pull the cards and let the message speak because there's so much energy going on but there's definitely some sensual energy happening okay so some of you may be getting you know i don't know what y'all getting this week but i think you're gonna like it king of swords and the four of staffs in reverse and now that makes me think other things okay so there's the cards the king of swords the devil and the four of staffs in reverse honestly <laughs> As far as relationships go, honestly, I'm not sensing, I, it feels, it feels sensual. It feels very sensual, okay? Things of that nature. It feels very quick. It feels very much so just to get the energy out, if this is making sense. Like, things, I don't see like a, a super duper lovey-dovey romantic week. So if you're in a relationship with someone right now, you can expect a whole lot of something, but maybe not that deep connection and love this week. No, with this King of Swords, it's a very, you know what honestly gives me like 50 shades of gray teas. Like it's very much so a sensual energy, but it's more, it's, it's more an exertion of power. And it's like a lot of people are gonna feel the need to exert power this week because of things that they feel out of control of. That is tea, honey. Whew. I'm glad I let the card speak because that was the only way out that was going to make sense. It wasn't going to make sense any other way. But it's like, you know, people are worried that things are just going to go absolutely bonkers, but we have Paul the Venetian here experiencing grace. So it's like, you know, the universe is at least being grateful, or I'm sorry, graceful to some extent to, you know, most of us. But it's like, there's a lot of fear this week. A lot of people are afraid that something's going to go wrong. Maybe it's just an energy that we feel as a collective, but a lot of people are worried. No place like home. 
fork in the road and round and round. Yeah, and I don't see a whole lot of progress being made this week, but I do see some of us are gonna have to make a decision. No place like home, round and around and uh, fork in the road. So honestly, you know, with the no place like home card, this is definitely telling me, especially with all that purple and blue, um, it's definitely telling me that we need to connect with our crown chakras this week and trust our intuition. And for me, trust, okay? I understand if it's hard for you guys to trust your intuition because it took me so much time to trust mine. It took me so much time to even connect to mine and know when it was like intuition or just the voices in my head, you know what I'm saying? Like, but with this no place like home card, it's gonna be very important that you guys trust yourself and be grounded. And honestly, I would just spend some time alone this week because <clears throat> this doesn't feel like a week where we need to involve ourselves with other people. I just feel like that can create some mess here. There's also a fork in the road ener energy where it's like, you know, some of us flat out have to make a decision about something this week and we're kind of at an impasse. We're at a fork in the road where it's like, okay, what way are you going to go? This isn't necessarily a problem, but it just feels like there's going to be some important decision making. And then I feel round and round. So honestly, don't expect, you know, a whole lot to progress this week. Um, if anything, you know, especially in terms of relationships like we've already talked about, we pretty much know if you're catching my drift, what's going to be going down this week. Things are going to be very se sensually charged, okay? It's not going to be it's just i'm not i'm just not getting lovey dovey teas okay i'm just getting teas period okay so <laughs> let's keep going and see what else comes up Stand your ground, material harvest, and the solar plexus chakra, guys. I mean, come on, how much more straightforward can we be? And I mean, there's this energy about it. Solar plexus chakra, material harvest, and stand your ground. It's gonna be very important for you guys. Honestly, I would just spend, I would just honestly just take a week to myself because I just feel like people are really pulling at our energy and it's gonna be important for you guys to stand your ground because like I was saying before, it's gonna be important not to to allow anyone to exercise their power out of you know in your direction from a place of fear that they have about something totally unrelated to you you know it's kind of just like a mad grab and that's why I was getting so much energy before it's honestly kind of hard to even work through and explain because I'm I'm being pulled in so many different directions even trying to get through you know the energy that we have on the board here but it just feels like there's a lot of things pulling us in different directions this, this week and some people are doing it in the healthiest way they can think which is maybe you know being a little more aggressive or something like that in a in a fun kind of way you know what i'm saying but some of us are just some people are just really not handling this time well. Um, material harvest, it's definitely the time to, you know, basically reap the benefits that you've kind of sown throughout the year, the things that you've learned, the things that you've done, but it just feels like it needs to be on a very solo basis, okay? And then with the solar plexus chakra card, we've talked about it all reading, so I'm honestly just gonna move on to the moon cards because I feel like they have a message for us today. Like it even started aggressive. The reading even started aggressive. Soon as I pick up the cards, I literally feel the cards get like slapped out of my hand and I'm like, haha, maybe, maybe, you know, this is the wrong deck to pull from at first. But the more I tap into the energy, it feels a little volatile. It feels like it just, the energy, it, I'm not going to lie, it doesn't feel the most positive this week. It doesn't feel horrible. I don't feel like, you know, I just feel like hmm, the energy of the collective is just... Hmm. It's not that positive. It's more fiery for sure. A lot of fire energy, a lot of passion, a lot of excitement, a lot of rah rah. Let's see. <laughs> and then we get the full moon in Leo, the fire sign, the full moon as well. Anyways, <laughs> the waning moon and the new moon in Aquarius. So let's see what we get. Okay, full moon in Leo, the waning moon and the new moon in Aquarius. So full moon in Leo, don't let your pride get in the way. Yeah, honestly, it feels like honestly, people just want 
people just want something that they feel like they own they just want to feel like something they're in control of something this week so it's going to be very important me you know being my cancer self love to be in hermit mode love to be inside the house i really do i honestly probably won't even really be fraternizing too much with folks this week which isn't the best you know way to handle things but honestly that's probably the way i'll handle it because it's just like i just feel like it's a mad grab for energy this week uh the new moon in aquarius bring love into the situation be kind be patient with people of course what was that card before stand your ground definitely don't allow people to you know step all over you waning moon what do you need to release this goes hand in hand with that fork in the road energy if there is someone who is flat out just displaying that they have not gone through any sort of ascension process they haven't learned the lessons that the universe has consistently been trying to help them in learning if there's no growth with them it's also a kind of a moment where it's like, you know, it's not like all in your face. It's not super strong and um, it's not like, you know, things are being ripped away from you like I was saying before, but it's very much so it's like, it's gonna be clear this week who and who is not serving you, who and who is not supposed to be in your life. It's gonna be crystal clear how they react to this energy because the thing is the collective energy, meaning how we all kind of feel depending on what's happening with the earth can literally affect our frequency as a whole. We're all connected in that way. It's like if enough people feel sad, if enough people feel upset, if enough people feel happy, our vibration, no matter how hard we try, is going to at least slightly change. And with everything going on this week, and because the collective energy is honestly a little low, it feels like it's just going to be so crystal clear who is supposed to be in your life and who isn't. Because again, some people just really aren't handling the energy well, and it shows. It's like gross. So let me pull from this deck. <sighs> feels honestly it feels like it's about to go down some people can't handle it they can't handle it <laughs> it's about to go down for some people if yeah why nook if you book like hey, hey i'm not trying to be lost in that sauce honey okay let's see express your inner truth <laughs> no i would not do that not this week not with people on edge and looking crazy no ma'am i would um save that for next week or the week there after that yes um <laughs> motivation keep going and express your inner truth and maybe your inner truth is you know something that you've been working towards maybe if you love to paint i know that i've been getting into painting lately um so if your inner truth you know is painting or something express that in a very healthy way but if like you're upset with a relationship and how it's going this is not the week to tell anyone they may just explode you may blow the lid off on the whole relationship this is not the relation this is not the week to be you know addressing things and be all in people's face no okay <laughs> express your inner truth motivation and keep going so i really like that energy though okay let me just read the bottom of express uh, your inner truth. Your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thought, whether it be music, whether it be acting, whatever it is, get into something, okay? Get your chops wet, you know, do something that's going to benefit your life. Express yourself in a form where it's like, even though things do need to be said, um, express yourself in a different kind of way this week. Maybe take a boxing class or something. Um, I don't know. Keep going. Use the energy of disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic emotion. This is the same kind of energy. It's very important for us this week to channel all of our enter energy into something productive and to be the difference. You know, the ones who raise the collective energy, even if you don't understand it. It's a woo-woo kind of term for a very simple thing. Um, and then motivation. Pray for guidance as to how to increase your enthusiasm for and focus on this project. So some of you may be I'm motivated. Uh, praying isn't all about getting on your knees and literally praying to a God necessarily, you know. Um, regardless of where you are on your spiritual journey or what you connect to, it's just important for things to be addressed. And that's one of the good things or, you know, beneficial things that a lot of people like about prayer is that they get to express how they feel and they get to hear it and they get it out so whatever way that you can get it out definitely um, focus on you know make a, a conscious plan to be organized or focus on you know helping yourself kind of stay motivated this week <laughs> there's a lot going on this week it feels like a lot of pressure 
but just focus on yourself like focus express your inner truth you know yeah do focus on things that solitarily benefit you don't focus on helping anyone else this week. This is not the week to get lost in anyone else's drama because as much as you know you are a light and as much as you can help, seriously, you you shouldn't. This is not the week. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, resist. That doesn't mean you always should, you know, just because you can. Okay, let's see. So we have solitude okay rainbow blessings and rejuvenating rain and yeah this time is gonna pass and like i was saying with uh the first card that we had with that experiencing grace card a lot of us do have very good things coming towards us okay but it's just like we gotta get there and this is just not the time to be fearful of the what ifs and whatever um okay so we have rejuvenate rejuvenating rain solitude and rainbow blessings so at the bottom of the solitude card it says in silence peace prevails so not only you know taking time for yourself not only you know will you be at peace and you won't be you know having to deal with everyone else's drama but it's just like it's just so important for us to seriously be more solitary this week it doesn't even feel like a, a bad move at all i know i was saying before you know being the hermit is not always the best energy to stay in the house but it really does feel like you know being more to yourself this week will be very beneficial uh rejuvenating rain clear the past heal the present so things are going to get better the situations are all going to be handled in the appropriate time though it's just not the week guys it really isn't and then rainbow blessing uh blessings at the bottom of this card it says blessings are showering your life in that order solitude rejuvenating rain and then the rainbow blessings come okay so there's definitely a lot to look forward to but honestly i would just put the pause on anything that has to do with anyone else this week i would not help nan else i would not be a part of anyone else's gossiping conversation no ma'am because somehow it's going to go wrong i'm telling you and you're gonna think about this moment and you're gonna think about when you watched me say this once you experience what I'm talking about because you was being hard-headed <laughs> I'm just kidding you all have free will but that is my take that is what was in the cards okay do you have my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private reading you can ask whatever question you want for the tarot like this video please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next I love you be careful what you wish for and I will see you in the next one Mwah!